सो हाई एवरी वन टोटली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर और सी एफ जी सो अ सी एफ जी लाइक इन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ अ लैंग्वेज कंजिस्ट ऑफ टू मेजर थिंग्स वन इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ टैग्स एंड सिम्बल्स एंड सेकेंड थिंग अ सेट ऑफ रूल्स विच स्टेट दैट हाउ दीज सिम्बल्स एंड टैग्स कैन बी ग्रुप्ड और ऑर्डर टूगेदर टू फॉर्म द लैंग्वेज आई थिंक दिस कैन बी बिट कन्फ्यूजिंग सो लेट सी एन एग्जाम्पल अज्यूम दैट वी हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्शन रूल्स फॉर अ सी एफ जी नाउन फ्रेज एरोहेड डिटर्मिनर नॉमिनल नाउन फ्रेज प्रॉपर नाउन नॉमिनल नाउन और नॉमिनल नाउन डिटर्मिनर इज ए नाउन फ्लाइट assume that we have some rules from the cfg coming in so let's understand what these uh, terms mean so if you look at the particular first rule noun phrase uh, given uh, forwarded determiner nominal it says that a noun phrase can consist of a combination of determiner or nominal similarly if you look at the third one uh, a nominal can consist of a noun or a nominal noun let's not dig dive into what is a nominal noun and what is a determiner similarly a determiner can be a Uh, or a noun can be flight the rules on the term on the left hand side can be replaced by the term on the right hand side so uh, as you can see uh, like for example if we would have a rule for this so this would have been written as verb phrase given verb noun phrase hence a verb phrase can constitute of either a verb and it can constitute of verb or noun phrase both so this is how cfgs are uh, Uh, design so in uh, in a cfg we have majorly two types of terms one is a terminal terms terms that can't be replaced where uh, you just can't replace them for example in this case a uh, flight so you can see that these are the symbols that are english words you can't replace them while other like uh, in the above th first three rules you can see that these are tags and they are not noun and they are not any words in a, uh, and they are not particular symbols in the language so they are replaceable so terminal ta terminal symbols means that these uh, the uh, the rule ends up here only once you reach out determinant you uh, you replace it by a eventually the rule ends up there but in case of when we are having on the right hand side uh, some non terminal tag it can still be replaced so uh, if you look at this this particular rule noun phrase determinant nominal now if you get, if you encounter a nominal you can follow up this rule uh, so you can replace a nominal by a noun or a nominal noun so these are the particular components of a cfg n is a non terminal symbols uh, is a set of uh, terminal symbols Ru uh, non terminals as you saw nominal non nominal terminals mean a, a flight or the english words rules being uh, rules of production that we saw uh, of the form a given beta where a was on the left hand side which can be replaced by the beta terms present in and a starting symbol and a member of n so a start symbol is required from where the cfg starts right and how these rules are created so it's one of the examples you just don't need to deep dive into you just need to have an essence of it so how these rules are created these rules are uh, these rules are created using tree bank a tree bank can be a corpus uh, uh, that consists all the sentences that are syntactically anno annotated by syntactically annotated we means it's a labeled data assume that it's a labeled and already has all the uh, syntactic parsing labels with it so using if we have such a data set that would be called as a tree bank and using this tree bank we can create a cfg out of it we can determine what rules are to be followed in the particular uh, for the particular corpus uh, in terms of a cfg